So, you're a content creator, or maybe you're a streamer who uses a lapel microphone and you want to get a great value for less than 20 bucks to make your audio not sound like this, but sound like this. All that and more on today's KCS Tech. So yes, I am Casey, aka Ethan, and today we're going to be going over this lavalier microphone. And if you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification, hit the like button thing, all that jazz if you want. If you don't like the content, hit the dislike button. Leave a comment, let me know what you think of these videos. So also, check out my Twitch in the link description below. I stream every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. That is right. And yeah, we're also gonna be using this microphone on the stream, and you can ask me more about this microphone and a whole bunch more. You might have noticed that I'm using a lapel microphone. Now, to put into context what a lapel microphone is, comparative to our other microphones we're using, a lapel is commonly known for one thing, attaching to a shirt, or attaching to something with a clip, that the microphone is so small it can attach to something, such as your mouth, next to your mouth through an earpiece, or maybe up here. And there's many, many examples. Very famous ones, like Shure's own one, and even Samson's own ones. But this is a pop voice microphone. And this microphone actually has very sparse information available about it. It's kind of weird. Trying to find information about it is just insanely difficult. Now what it comes with is it comes with three pop filters, an orange, a red, and a black. And it or comes with four, because it comes with another pop filter, or windscreen as they are, but it's not a very good windscreen. But it also comes with a bag and an adapter, which is necessary for when you're wanting to use it on a computer, on a computer, or on something like I'm using, like my Canon DSLR. These things are required to use it. But other than that, there's really nothing else. It also comes with the regular jack, which is a three prong, as I don't know what it'd be called. I would guess it'd be a 3.5.3. I have no clue. But basically, it plugs straight into an iPhone. If you have an older iPhone, like an iPhone 6, 6S, or a Samsung, or even newer phones that still have a headphone jack, anything like that. I do believe it is an omnidirectional microphone, mostly because I can move this thing around on my shirt and it'll find my home area. It is very loud when put into the interface, so I'm pretty sure... All right, I guess. <laughs> That was terrifying, oh my gosh. I just heard tons of sirens and stuff. So we have a, like a fire station up the road to do tests every a couple Sundays or so. And of course I choose a Sunday to record this. So that was terrifying. If you can hear that, it definitely is an omnidirectional. Tie it back in. So this is a pretty sure omnidirectional microphone. And yeah, but there is multiple ways to mount it. On a shirt on the outside, on the inside, and then off the clip by holding it close to your mouth. I am going to be testing every single one of them, and I'm also going to be testing with the auto mode, which is what you are hearing, hearing right now, as well as the manual mode on the camera, and into the computer behind me. But all of that is going to be happening later in the testing section. But this thing sounds really good, and why would you want to use something like this? Well, the pal microphones are useful for something like this. And the main reason I was looking for one is mostly because it is plug and play. You plug the microphone into the jack and it basically works without any issues. So this is a lapel microphone. It's nice and easy, mostly for plug and play action. You can just plug your microphone in like I do with this Canon and it works beautifully. You can plug it straight into your computer. And yeah, so you might be asking what's the use in a streaming setting and what's the use in a content creator setting? Well, for content creators, for content creators, the big thing is definitely plug and play or wirelessness because you can use something like an iPhone to, or a Samsung to just throw it in and plug it in and it's plug and play, syncing up your audio, but it makes you fully wireless to move around. And for plug and play action, it makes it so much more convenient because when I was doing my old one, I would put my microphone on this shelf here through my arm and it was just very difficult to set up. And the audio didn't actually sound that great most of the time because I wasn't talking directly into my microphone like I am on a screen because I'm not facing a screen most of the time. I am facing every which way. I'm staring at the camera. There's just a bunch of issues with it. And the dynamic microphone doesn't pick it enough. And the condenser microphone is just hard to use constantly because of many different things. So those are your main issues here. And for streamers, the big thing is it's a lapel microphone and it's easy to attach to your shirt. And this is good for something such as mobile streaming, as you can just walk around with your microphone plugged into your phone and just walk around with the streaming setup. 
for mobile, which I am going to be doing a setup for that eventually. I'm still working on the kinks and trying to figure out how I can do stuff, but yeah. And also, it is good for VR streaming. Like I brought up in my VR streaming card, I also brought up this. And these things are very useful for VR streaming because when it's close to your mouth like this, it picks up a lot of your breathing, a lot more. And this microphone still picks up your breathing, but it's not as bad. So I think it's a perfect exception to do for this. So let's get into the actual price. This thing goes for less than $20, which is crazy. So yeah. But without further delay, I think we should also just jump into the testing. Here we have the lavalier microphone, as you can tell. I got the orange cloth thing on it. And yeah, so we have it attached to the shirt right now, plugged in here, and it's just plugging in directly into my computer in the back of it. I did try, for the record, plugging it into my UMC22, which is right above me, and it will not detect it no matter what I do to it. So yeah, here is the raw noise. All right, now we have that. We're gonna go ahead and pull it off. Now here it is on the outside, closer to my mouth. As you can tell, the levels are a little bit louder, but they are working pretty well. And yeah, now I'm gonna go ahead and spin it around a little bit. And as you can see here, we're in the back of it now, but not really a big difference because this is a omnidirectional on top. On the bottom, however, is the exact same story. This capsule is completely bringing in everything that you can. I'm completely just spinning the capsule around right now. And yes, it's loud, but it is actually working very well. Now we're gonna go ahead and put it on the inside of my shirt, which we're going to do by this. Putting it on the button, as you can tell. And here we are on the shirt at the exact same angle right here. And yeah, so now we have it plugged up onto our shirt. Now we're going to test the plosives by saying, Please bring pizza pronto. Please bring pizza pronto. Please bring pizza pronto. There we go. And finally our sentence. Ah, wore the hat with a big old sack. So here we are. Right on top of the microphone to do proximity effect. A little bit loud, a little bit loud. Now here we are a decent meter away, about a, half, about a foot away. Here we are at about a two feet away and three feet away. Now we have it directly plugged into the camera. Quick little side note. When I plug this into my camera, the first two times I tried would not pick it up and that's just plugging in base without the adapter. But when I plugged it in with the adapter, it somehow is working now, but there is some weirdness about it. So there is our raw noise we have on this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pull it off and we're gonna put it at about a face level and here we are. And this is running off of the automatic mode on the camera which means that the audio level is actually going to be automatically adjusting going up and down so that the camera can make it so you're not clipping into the microphone. So being this close actually isn't that big of a disadvantage. Now we're gonna go ahead and test the proximity effect by spinning it around, putting it on top of it to make the proximity. And now it's in the shirt, as you can see, it's right there. And yeah, now we're going to do the plosives. Please bring pizza pronto. Please bring pizza pronto. Please bring pizza pronto. And now our sentence. Matt wears a hat with a big old sack. And tests the rejection of noise around it. So obviously, here we are at about right on top of it. About one foot away. Two feet away. And this is about three feet away. On to our conclusion with this microphone over at the usual recording area and set the stream setup. In conclusion, this microphone is insane for the price. This microphone goes for less than $20 on a regular voice basis. And the only downsides I've noticed is it's very sensitive, such as snaps like this up here in the air which are very hard to hear in real life, the microphone's very sensitive to. And that's mostly because it is a condenser microphone and not a dynamic one. But most of the time, lavaliers, you want to be condenser, unlike when you're recording with a dynamic mic, because dynamics need to be close to make it make sense. And there are such things as dynamic ones, such as these wireless ones, and I also believe Sure make a wireless version that is also dynamic. But this one is a condenser, and for your price, I think this is probably one of the best deals you can get on a microphone that is a dynamic or a, or a lavalier microphone. It's one of the best deals you can get. 
And overall, I just think it's an amazing, amazing sounding microphone. And I think I will definitely be using it for my streams, which you guys should totally check out. Link in the description below. I stream every Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. And on Wednesdays and Fridays, if you are in the chat and you want me to do some redesigning, put them into my little stream redesign area and I will be helping out. I actually will be working on a brand new design for someone very soon on the stream. I'll actually be asking him about it very, very soon. We're also going to be doing some very special upcoming things. I don't want to talk about it yet, but we're going to be doing more computer stuff as of recent and talking about streaming and stuff like that I just want to talk about that stuff and actually build a computer I'm gonna be building a couple computers um, and I'm probably gonna be showing them both in one video and then I'm gonna be doing a big video on my own computer and there's just a bunch of stuff coming up about that and if you guys have liked this video make sure to hit that subscribe button man this video has taken a lot of work to get out I'm sorry about the weird upload schedule that's been happening a while now I know a couple weeks back I wasn't uploading and it's been seeming like I'm going into dual uploads every week, but I'm not. I am trying to stick to the schedule and stream as much as I can and also upload as much as I can. And yeah, I'm trying to keep up to that schedule and I'll be putting out as many videos as I humanly can. So other than that guys, I will see you guys next time. Have fun.